guys, I am Aranya. You might have seen my video, Brown Girl's Guide to Gender. And uh, I wrote this for Women's Day special with Anna Ray's poetry. Um, within this piece, I'm trying to address a lot of the issues that women face all over. And here's my take on it. The first boy who held my hand told me boys don't want to hear about vaginas bleeding. Younger me could smell the misogyny, vaginas only meant to be fucked, breasts only meant to be sucked, mouths only meant to blow. It's true, I know my waist meant to be compared to an hourglass, my voice only meant to quiver, ugh, please, fast, yet I am silenced. But all we boil down to is sexual interaction. Not just me, my mother, sisters, friends all quicken their pace post 30 in the evening. So I wear my jeans long and wear my tops high, don't show my cleavage or a hint of my thighs, don't want to be mistaken for wanting it. Because if I wear less, I'm more than just flaunting it, I'm risking it. Risking not my virginity, but my life. Within these lines, I'm trying to explain how the fear of rape is a genuine thing and it's brought upon from a very young age. It's reinforced through family, friends, and I think it was really important to address. My hymen seems to be a secret to keep it till I'm a wife. If not, I'm a whore, a slut and skank and more, not as pure as I was before. In this, I'm trying to explain how uh, slut shaming is such a casual and a normal thing. If a woman uh, decides to sleep before marriage, immediately she's termed as a slut or a skank and not as pure as a virgin would be. 15 year old Lakshmi didn't like 32 year old Guddu back and Guddu dealt with it real maturely. He made her the victim of an acid attack. Lakshmi could be your sister, your girlfriend, your cousin. We're girls, women, humans, not a burden. At the age of 12, my bra straps are sexualized. At the same time, we look at damn sexual rights. My aunt raped by her husband, but marital rape is fine. Fuck her up, it's a mad design. Get in line. Uh, within these lines, I'm trying to address, again, objectification from a young age, and also the fact that uh, people don't consider marital rape uh, actual rape, because they feel uh, women owe it to men after marriage to give them sex, which isn't an all right thing. So all I'm trying to say here tonight is, I'm sorry I was brought up in a family where my brother taught me wrong from right, where my mother believes in our generation to better the world and make it slightly easier for each and every girl. Thank you, for I see men, even in this room, reaching out for help, realizing the bane of the womb, being saved by the sane of a few. We're all collectively reaching out for you. Within these lines, I'm trying to explain how I know that people are trying to reach out for help and we must give them the opportunity to help us as much as we need it. Because this is, feminism isn't only women empowerment, it's male and women empowerment. And the minute we start representing each other, can we only make this better?